We've got to vote. And we've got to make sure because this is our shot. This is the beginning of a West Virginia like you've never seen. A West Virginia you've all wanted. A West Virginia that's not 50th in everything coming or going. It's right at our fingertips. Now, it's there for the taking. It's not there for additional taxes. It's there for the taking. Now, we've got to seize the moment. And, I tr and you can trust me on this from now on. I will never not tell you the truth. And this is our moment. And we've got to do it right now. We cannot let October 7th slide by. Early voting starts September the 22nd. We've got to get our voice heard. And I want our vo voice heard like a mandate like you can't believe. Now let's just be real. Think about the federal people. Think about the Rick Perrys and the Donald Trumps and the Mike Pence and everybody that's looking at West Virginia and they want to help us. And they see us come in with a winning vote by three votes. You know what they're going to say? They're going to say, for crying out loud, what are we doing trying to help those people? I mean, here they have a home run of home runs of home runs of home runs, and they can't even make up their mind on that. But yet if they see us come in and command a day and say, we're going to put our footprint on this, and it's going to be at 85% of the vote, they're going to say that state's on the move. And that state is moving in the direction that we want to see our nation move. They're behind us, and they're wanting to help us. And we've got to speak up and say we want to help ourselves. Trust me, this is just the first step. There's so much good coming, and there's so much good coming to southern West Virginia, you can't imagine it. You can't imagine it. What is happening within West Virginia right now? Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the two in the room that may be up rebel rousing everybody else and everybody just kind of goes along for the sake of going along. Don't listen to those.